Boy, one nine, how about a radio check? Boy, boy, hello, radio. I will get now. And that's how it goes. That's how it's been for a while. Yeah. I know my radio's working. I just had it tuned up. Had a guy in uh, uh, London, Ohio, London, Indiana, whatever, right there on the line at the Petro. Had some new LEDs put in it. Had it tuned up. Oh, she screams. There's nothing wrong with that radio. Just seems anymore that might be the only one on it at times. I got plenty of friends that run radios. We were talking about that this morning. But uh, more and more, nobody's running radios. When I started, God, you had to have a big radio. <laughs> no more air. Uh, you had to have the big radio. You had to have the big kicker. I had a little Cobra 29. Uh, I had a Texas Star 500. Man, she would scream, and I was a pain in the ass. I was that jerk on the radio. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Radio was fun. God, everybody played on it. And, you know, everybody had the cool CB handles and, you know, disco. <laughs> disco. Oh, God. Who we have? We had Spike, what you call it, Midnight Special, Georgia Boy, Florida Boy, Country Boy. Oh, God, we had Showtime. Uh, somebody stop me. <laughs> oh, man, there were a lot of them out there. Tumbleweed. Yeah, God, I worked for old Tumbleweed. But CB was fun. And, you know, as a kid growing up, uh, we all saw Smokey and the Bandit and all the bullshit on the radio. You know, always... 1010 on the side or all that bullshit walking the dog kicking the cat all the radio lingo was fun but uh, anymore you don't hear it you ride around everybody's got their headset on or their youtube going or some podcast and got their foot up on the dash and they're wearing their friggin pajamas and they're just full of shit there's been some videos out lately and it makes me mad i just I posted one on my YouTube, on my Facebook page this morning. The latest of the I-80 crashes. Um, there's been about three this year. Two of them out on out in Wyoming area, and uh, that one big one out in PA. And uh, you know this last one. This last one's got me thinking, man. Uh, there was one video I didn't. I, that's not the one I posted. This cat's riding along there. And he gets hit in the back because he's trying to woe up. And he gets hit in the tail end. He didn't turn his flashers on. He didn't go on the radio. He didn't do shit. Uh, but he just woes it up. And he was somehow he was able to woe it up in time. And he got hit in the rear. And he skates through there, and you can see trucks on each side of the road. And they're starting to pile up. And he's just, whoa, wow. You know, he's in awe at the crashing. And the whole time you hear him listen, listen. And you can hear the pile up happening behind him man and it and it got worse and then there were other videos uh people going the opposite way stopped some ladies in the four-wheeler video and it and it was god it was devastating people died and as i'm watching this these trucks are just coming in there they're, they're just going way too fast and i see a six-wheeler box truck and he ditches it and the rest of them are just piling right in there man i mean trailers flying in the air and you know, it got me thinking, the guy making the video, he's making the video. We're watching him make the video ride through this shit. Not one time did he pick up his friggin' radio and say, hey, wall it up at the mile marker 125. Uh, just what happened to those days? You know, we used to ride along. And there wouldn't be anything wrong. Just, you know, hey, northbound, you got one on the shoulder up here at the 95. Well, we knew there was going to be a breakdown or a bear or something, you know, and you get over in the other lane. You don't even blow by somebody on the shoulder of the road. I taught my wife and kids that stuff, man. You just don't drive by shit on the side of the road. Um, but these guys are plowing in. There's a there's a major pileup. People are dying. 
Not one time did they even pick up the radio. They may not even had a CB in the damn truck. And that's what I'm seeing more, man. I've, you know, a guy get over right on my hood, like, and there's nobody behind him. And, you know, I don't, I don't haul ass, you know, some, a lot of times I'm getting past. Guys come by and they get over right on my hood and I'll get on the CB. Hey, dude, you can't get past me before you get over? No answer, no answer. You know, I just try to stir up some radio talk. So I get out there and I look and there's no CB antennas on that damn truck. They don't have CBs. So how do you know what's going on? We're like pilots, man. You know, the, the, an airline pilot can't function without his radio. Um, the engineer on a, on a damn freight train. It's one way, one lane. And they still have communication with what's going on up ahead. And these fools today. And it's a breakdown in training. Man, there's so much, there's so much wrong with training these days. And it scares me because I've got friends and they've got... Uh, people coming up right now. I, I I know some new guys coming in, and I worry about the training they're getting. You know, these some of these trainers get out here and they run for six months, and oh, now you're a trainer. Well, how the hell he hasn't run through all four seasons? He does. He barely knows how to get up and down a mountain, much less in ice and snow. Um, and then these gonna they're gonna train guys, and uh, and these truck driving schools. This should be mandatory. You have to have a CB in your truck. You know, squelch the thing out. You know, I can sit here and listen to this fuzz all day. I squelch it out till I don't have to hear the fuzz. But if somebody yelled at me right now, I'm going to hear it. And I can be on the phone, and I can be driving, and I can hear that radio. Uh, it should be mandatory in these truck driving schools uh, to have a CB in your truck. Uh, it would prevent a lot of crashes. I see people questioning on the, on the, some of the forums and some of the Facebook posts that I saw. Would that have helped? Hell yes, it would have helped. It would have a lot of people if you know two miles ahead before you get to the pileup I'm turning on my flashers and I'm woeing it up um, of course it's gonna help if for nothing else there's a bear on the shoulder with a four-wheeler get over there's an ambulance there's a fire truck get over um, you know they're, they're shutting the road down get off at the next exit there's a backup anything everything helps man you need to communicate but that was the big breakdown in those crashes Watch that crash and, and a couple of things that really stood out. No radio communication. That was number one. No radio communication. Uh, that could have stopped a lot of guys, woke them up in time. And the other, these guys, there, there was no thought process in an escape route. An escape route, man. Why would you drive into a wall? And that's basically what they were driving into with these trucks crashed up, piling up, blocking the entire road. They just drove straight. They froze. They drove straight. Hit the ditch, man. A six-wheeler box truck hit the ditch. And these so-called professional truckers just drove straight into that, wiping everybody out. Probably themselves. They were probably some of the ones that passed away. I don't know. I don't know. But when I leave home... I'm out here and I'm having a blast and I love trucking man I love this so much and most of the time I, I do this for pleasure but you know it's not all for love of the game I have to send the money home I have to I had a mortgage I had car payments and I got lights and food and I got a wife and children and uh, that's number one priority and if I go out here and I let you kill me on this road 100% promise you will never show up at my house and hand my wife a light bill or buy my daughter some golf shoes you're not gonna do shit uh, so I, I have to have it in my I have to be defensive I've got it in my head I'm not letting you kill me today you know I ride down the road and if it's a two-lane and there's people coming at me I'm going this way and a jackass decides to pull out in front of me I've got a couple of choices I can veer to the left and take out the innocent bypass or passer buyer I can hit the ditch or I can take him out. In that situation, I'm probably just going to, I'm going to get on my brakes, but I'm plowing into that dude. I'm taking you out because if I hit the ditch, more than likely this thing comes off the frame, the load goes over the top of me, and I'm dead, and you drive away. And you probably won't be the one that goes and takes care of my family. Uh, in another situation, out on the interstate, my plan is hit the ditch. Uh, if there's a big pile up out there, I'm hitting the ditch. I'm not going to drive into it because nothing's good coming out of that. I'm either killing somebody or killing myself, more than likely both. So, man, you're professional drivers. 
need to think like professional drivers. What if? You know, you have to be on defense all the time. They teach you that when you're getting your, your, your chauffeur's license to drive a car. You know, defensive driving. You get too many tickets, what do you go to? You go to defensive driving school. Where are all the defensive professional drivers in trucking anymore? What are you guys thinking? Have an escape route. Have a plan. I know when I pull out of this truck stop today, I'm putting my ass in that right-hand lane. When I get in a busy town and people coming on and off the highway, if I'm allowed in that third lane, I'm getting over there, getting away from all the action. Other than that, I'm over here in the slow lane, and I'm minding my business, and I'm watching everything in front and behind me and beside me. I know where everything and everybody's at. And my, my emergency plan is to hit that ditch. I'm not driving into a pileup. I got my radio on. Please, everybody, listen, man. For you truck drivers, run your radio. If you're in truck driving school right now, I don't care what your trainer does, get yourself a radio. That's a tool. That's one of the tools, man. That's part of this deal. Put a radio in your truck. Get a decent radio that you can hear and turn it on and use the thing. I can, mine's on right now. If somebody yells at me, hey, Donaldson, what you doing over there? I can hear them and I can answer them. Uh, if I've got my headset on and I'm on the phone, I can still hear that radio. Run your radio. It's going to save yourself. You're going to save your life or somebody else's. Uh, you need communication. That would have saved a lot of people in those crashes out on I-80. That's my whole point. I watched those videos and I saw so much wrong. And two of the biggest things. Number one, no radio communication. Number two, nobody took an escape route. Everybody froze. They freaked the hell out. They stood on the brakes and plowed right into them. Number three, slow your ass down in those conditions. Can't be in a big hurry. Uh, I guess that's my rant for the day. Just upset over this whole, this whole radio deal. Everybody just driving into a pileup, wiping everybody out, man. It's devastating. That's awful. And uh, I love this industry. I love trucking. And uh, I respect all my brothers and sisters out here doing it. It's not an easy job, man. I know what you go through. But don't take it so lightly. I get out of the fuel aisle and I see these guys. They climb out of the truck. And uh, they're wearing their freaking pajamas. They're in slippers. Uh, man, respect yourself. Respect the industry. Go in there and shave. Brush your teeth and hair, you know. Put on some clothes. Don't go around in your pajamas. If you're that lazy, that's how lazy you are behind that wheel. You don't give a shit. You got your foot propped up on the dash. You're watching freaking movies. And you got that turned up and you got the CB off. Come on, man. Pay attention. Respect the industry. Respect the, the awesome power of one of these tractor trailers. You're 80,000 pounds going down the road at 65, 70 mile an hour. Respect it. Pay attention all the time, please. I don't believe in accidents. Those are fuck ups. 26 years I've been out here. 26 years, quarter century, going on 3 million miles, maybe more. I don't know. A lot of them weren't legal, man. I used to run like hell. Uh, I've never crashed a truck, knock on wood. I'm not rattling my own chain, but I didn't screw up. I've been hit once. Uh, I scraped a couple things. Not perfect, but I've never crashed out here on the road because I pay attention. I try not to. It's my job, man. Uh, if I'm crashing, I'm not getting my load. But pay attention. You'll last 26 years, too. I plan on doing another 20. I hope all y'all are out here with me to do it. And uh, I want to go home at night. I don't want one of y'all piling into me. Turn your radios on. Pay attention. I love my wife and my kids. I want to go home and see them. Radios, guys. Straighten up. Clean up. Get dressed. Set up in the truck. Pay attention to what you're doing. Let's go do our jobs and enjoy the road. Can't be out here running each other over. Guess that's my rant for the day. God, my heart breaks for those families. Somebody left out to go make a dollar, feed their family, and never came home. And I'm, I'm convinced radio could have saved a lot of them. CB radios, guys. If you see me cruising down the road, 
Grab your CB and holler at me. I'll answer to just about anything. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Keep it together. Enjoy the road. Turn your CB on. And until uh, the next one, truck it up.